Okay. So what was your um, what was your upbringing like? Like your mom and your daddy, the same household? Or? I had a good upbringing. My mama was a very hardworking woman. She did hair. Like everybody in the city knew my mama. My mama had did almost everybody in the city braids. So everybody knew my mama. Your shit went five. Suzette never touched your head or your kid's head. So shout out to my mama. Um, my daddy. While I was a kid, I had a relationship with my daddy. As I got older, you know, he moved out of state. So I kind of probably gained more of a relationship towards my stepdaddy. But, um, and then, you know, shout out my stepdaddy. We buried him in 2015. So, you know, I had a pretty decent upbringing. I didn't really have to do, I didn't have to make none of the bad decisions that I did make. My mom worked. She provided for me. She always handled up. But I just, I wanted my own, if that makes sense. I kind of knew what I knew at an early age. Okay. Um, shit, your mama might be one of them ones. I know Boston Richie say if you don't do hair, if you don't do nails, he can't fuck with you. You working nine to five, he can't fuck with you. Your mama I can't fuck with that part. Now, this is why I say that. I'm a licensed cosmetologist. I got my cosmetology license back in 2010. So I'm a licensed cosmetologist. But I worked at SunTrust Bank for five years. I also worked at Advent Health for three years. So... Even right now, I'm not too proud that if I get to the point where, you know what I'm saying, my money slow down on the music side, I'm going to go grab me a nine to five because I can do that. I don't have a background. Regardless of all the hood bullshit I did, I don't have a background. So my name looks great on paper. Jasmine Morris looks great on paper. Whether I'm running the salon with my license or whether I'm clocking in to do medical billing because that's kind of what my specialty was. I don't work at tech support companies. I've had some good jobs, so I can't agree with him. I don't know if he mean nine to five on, like, little kitty-ass job, shit like that, but then you got to understand, like, all grown women jobs are not just a job. Some of them bitches could really make a career out of their job. Yeah. Some of them could work their way up and become the CEO of that company. So is it still just, oh, I don't fuck with nine to five bitches? Because I do got a nine to five schedule when I'm not rapping. I can't fuck with no nigga that can't see beyond that street shit. You got a good point. I mean, he he kind of he he's young. Um, I know a lot of females be retweeting or, or posting shit that he say, but I ain't see a lot of people. It don't bother that, me. Though. It's just he's not somebody that's on my radar. Okay, he's not somebody I'm interested in, so that wouldn't bother me. He, it will only him bother or you if just you are. His type. What you mean? Like you saying him personally? Like I listen to his music. I think he's a great artist. All right, but meaning to try to like. Be mad because he said he don't fuck with bitches that work a job. I'm not interested in dating him, so. Yeah, I'm about to. Okay, true. 